Hello. In this video, I'll show you a new capability that was added to the 4, 5, and 6 series MSO, limited mass testing, uh, which can be a great help if you're trying to determine the impact of design changes on your device. Uh, maybe you want to know uh, external environmental factors impact on your device, uh, such as uh, vibration, or maybe you want to do simple go, no-go testing. Uh, so to do this, let's just jump right into it. I have two waveforms on the screen here. And to get my mask test going, I'll go over to the right to this more menu and tap on that once. Um, and we'll see mask is highlighted here. So with my finger or mouse, I can draw a simple box. If I click into this, uh, you can see I can change to a couple predefined shapes. Um, let's just go hexagon. Um, now, going through the different options here, if I click on it once, this gives me the option to move the shape around. Click a second time, I can resize this shape. Clicking a third time gives me the ability to actually move one of these vertices around. And clicking again gives me the option to add additional vertices to make some pretty funky designs. And the final click gives me the ability to rotate it. Once I have this shape of interest set, I can uh, go in here and actually create a duplicate. Click on that once again to move it over here. Um, but what I'm actually going to do for this demonstration is do the limit test. So if I click into this menu again, double tap in there, I'll go to waveform tolerances and you can see I get this mask drawn around my waveform of interest. Um, I can actually do this test on multiple channels simultaneously. So I'll start again by drawing a simple mask. Uh, double tap on that. Again, we'll do waveform tolerances. So I can actually, on this eight channel oscilloscope, uh, run this test eight times um, simultaneously. So that's pretty cool. Um, once I have my mass defined, I can double tap into this menu, this badge on the right hand side, and define the number of waveforms I want to test, uh, determine what my failure threshold is. I'll keep it for one for the time being. Um, I can show segment hits in the badge, um, so I can have my mask be hit multiple times and have it count as one failure, so we can count the hits and the failures. Um, the other interesting thing that we can do here is act on event so I'll drill into that menu so basically with act on events I determine what actions I want to be taken when there is a failure um, so you can see these three columns over here mass test hit failure and pass so maybe let's say when I have a failure let's stop the acquisitions and let's save the waveform. And for the save configuration, um, I can determine the location of where I save this file. Uh, let's actually browse through here. Um, here's some events I've saved before, so that'll work as a location. Um, close, go back in here. I gotta turn act on event on, click that. And let's turn on our mass test. And let's also turn on our mass test for channel two. Uh, I'm not gonna act on this event at all. All right, so we can see it's set up to tell us the number of waveforms, the number of hits in each segment. Segment one is this top segment. You can see over here where it says S1, and down below is segment two. So it'll tell us where we get the hits when there's a failure. This is gonna failure fail immediately. So let's start running the oscilloscope. There we go, there's our immediate failure. Um, we can see where the hits occur, they happen all over the place. Um, this actually tells me I've got one failure with nearly 3,000 hits, um, so obviously this is a massive failure uh, for my purposes. So as you can see, it's a simple, powerful tool, and you can have it now on your four, five, and six series MSO. Thanks for watching.